Hello, welcome to Phantom Buster. My name is Alex and I'm here to take you through our beginners playlist, a visual guide to introduce you to every aspect of Phantom Buster. In this first video, I'll take you through what exactly a phantom is and show you how to choose one. So what is a phantom? A phantom is a useful and powerful little creature that performs a simple automated action on your behalf somewhere on the web to save you time and effort. And how does it do this? Well, let's visualize it. You give the phantom an input, such as a user's profile. It automates an action on your behalf, such as sending that user a message. Then it gives you an output in the form of results files containing the data it has found or a summary of what it's done. It's as easy as that. One phantom equals one action. So of course, using several together, the sky's the limit. And we have phantoms for you to use with many different social networks and other platforms. So how do you find the right one? Well, by going to the Phantom store on our website, you'll have access to all of our 100 plus Phantoms. To make things a little bit easier for you, you'll find filters on the left hand side to help you look for particular types of actions, extractions, or website categories. There's also a search bar at the top where you can look for keywords related to what it is you need to automate. Once you've found the phantom you want, just click use this phantom. All the phantoms you use are stored on your dashboard. From here, you can see all your phantoms and you can have as many as your plan allows. If you need to, from here, you can delete one to make space for a new one. Your dashboard is the place where you'll be able to access everything related to each of your phantoms simply by clicking on them. This will take you to what we call the Phantoms console page. From here, you'll be able to edit your Phantom setup. Once you're ready, you can launch the Phantom to have it process the actions you want it to. And you'll be able to access your results files once it's completed its job. And that's it. Congratulations for completing your first guide in our beginners playlist. This is just the beginning. So head over to our next episode to keep digging a little deeper into Phantom Buster. See you there. Thank you.